got our final pieces to our Porsche puzzle. Rear bumper, it's three sections. We have the top and then the lower two sections that come uh, painted, not painted, they come black, textured black. Top section comes white, but on a GTS model, the bottom section comes painted. Obviously the GTS model has a little more aggressive uh, lower diffuser, but the fact that it gets painted, it almost looks the same. I put it all together, that way we can just paint it all at once, and then we can just paint the quarter as well. And one little thing I am gonna do is I'm gonna paint the spoiler that goes on here. It also comes just black, flat black. I'm gonna paint it body color. I just love having everything paint matched to the car instead of having the black on the bottom. It just makes it more aggressive when everything is painted and it looks a lot cleaner. And these wheels are from a older Turbo uh, from a 2014. They were kind of freebies. They were laying here at the shop. Our customer left them behind because he switched his turbo wheels on his 958.1 Porsche Cayenne. So I threw them on because one of my rims was bent. I don't know, maybe I'm gonna paint these gloss black or silver, haven't decided yet. For now, I just wanna get the car painted and assembled and then we can do the minor stuff like the calipers, still deciding what to paint the calipers, either yellow, red or I do really like this check it out check out this Lamborghini this is actually the same color code as my Porsche S9R Carrera white but uh, look at these calipers lime green they're just glowing I don't know I like it looks good on white with black wheels it would really stand out. Uh, decisions, decisions. For now, let's get to painting. We're gonna do a uh, sealer, base coat, clear coat. The usual good stuff. And then I'll show you guys once it's all done. Everything is painted, dry, and looking beautiful. Check it out. Very nice, clean paint job. Beautiful body lines. The repair work on this is flawless. Here's our bumper. Looks so much better and so much more aggressive with the bottom painted. If you can imagine, this was all black and only the top portion was white, so it seemed very small. Now it's going to be lower to the floor. It's going to be the same to the floor, but it's going to look lower to the floor because it's all painted and it's all one uniform color and it's going to look very, very aggressive. Here's the bumper, made few repairs, but this thing is looking just like new. Of course, the parking sensors, 
got all four. And I did, while waiting for the paint to dry, I did get the tail lights in the booth to get them, give it a little smoked flavor, you can say. Very slight, because these are completely red, so there's no white. So they look dark already, but I just gave it enough smokiness to, I don't know, make it look sporty, aggressive, but you can still see all that red underneath it. So I don't like the complete blacked out look. I think it looks tacky, but this, a lot of new cars, if you notice, they come smoked tail lights, smoked headlights, or the inside of the lights is black, so it looks smoked. But this is how all the new automakers are making their tail lights on a nice expensive cars nice clean smoked look but not black not blacked out we don't want that i think i got the perfect level of smokiness can't wait to put these on the car and of course our spoiler got our toe caps for the rear bumper and then here's our spoiler Looking clean. Third brake light goes here. And the spoiler goes on top of the trunk right here. So factory spoiler, uh, it just came black like I said, and now it's gonna be white. So it's gonna seem a little more aggressive. Time to unmask this car and slowly start assembly. I got some new round tips for the muffler and uh, yeah, this thing is gonna look sweet. Favorite part is assembling it, putting it all together, and seeing the vision come to life. All right, we pulled the Porsche out of the spray booth. Our front end is dialed in. Our side moldings are all painted and installed. Here's our rear bumper. Assembled the little exhaust trim, lights parking sensors and our uh, painted quarters so now we can finally put the rear end together I installed all the brackets that go here installed the blind spot monitors the rear reinforcement so we got everything we need all we gotta do is throw the tail lights on, the rear bumper, wheel arch squares, and then uh, it'll be all buttoned up.
the Porsche Cayenne is finally finished, detailed, and ready to roll. I can finally take her home and enjoy it. Beautiful paint job. Love how all the moldings turned out. I installed some 21 inch wheels. All we did was paint the quarter panel and the bumper and uh, the color is looking beautiful. We didn't have to touch the rear door or paint anything else on this car besides the bumpers, all the flares and the quarter panel. We did a nice smoke on the tail lights very lightly tinted you can still see the lights installed some quad tips we uh, also painted the top spoiler this was black before and I love that all the trim around the windows comes already gloss black on most of them it comes chrome so a few more things I want to do I want to paint the lower mirror gloss black. I'm going to do a light smoke on the headlights. I already tinted the lowers and the fog lights. I did gloss black trim on all the grills. And this thing is looking mean. Did a nice detail on the inside. It's got panoramic sunroof, Porsche edged headrests, 14 way seats, and this is the Platinum Edition. Beautiful. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this build I did for my personal daily driver. Uh, it's gonna be a nice car. I'm gonna enjoy it for a little while before I sell it. It is for sale if you're interested, but uh, for now, we'll drive it, enjoy it, and then uh, find something else. That is gonna be it for this video. See you on the next one.